Happy Sunday and welcome to Love to Travel with Wave. So you know we got a challenge from Charlene, yes. So this is my second challenge for November. It's a positive November and that's how we're going to keep it. And some of these things that we're doing is probably going to impact your life some way or the other. Or it's going to inspire you to be the best you that you can be. So um, in 2019, there was an exercise that um, I was going to do with some girls in Ghana, some young girls. And it's all about how they feel about themselves their perception of themselves so what i did was um i got together with a friend of mine and i bought about maybe about 20 mirrors because i think we, at that time we had like 20 girls so if you don't have a mirror in your house please get one or get a small compact mirror and what you do is we're gonna do this exercise together let me take my glasses off Yes, like I said, you know, just relax, everything. So you're going to take the mirror and you're going to look inside that mirror and you're going to tell me, how do you feel about that person that you are looking at directly in that mirror? And I'm going to do it and I'm going to tell you what I see about myself perception that I have about myself you know whether it's the younger me the middle age me or the me now you understand so everyone if you don't have a mirror hmm get one so we're gonna do this exercise together so here we go just take a look at yourself and just you know tell me what you see So finally, when you looked at yourself, what did you see? Well, I can tell you for sure. When I looked into the mirror, I see a more mature me. I saw, I see a woman who has matured and no longer cares what people think about her. A woman that, you know, has been through so many trials and tribulations and through it all. I have come out smelling like a rose, yes. You know, and I am hopeful that there is even, um, you know, a more brighter future. When I look at the physicality, you know, my face, my complexion, I am so in love with myself, my skin tone, my eyes, my eyebrows, my hair my nose, my lips. These were once things that people chastised you about. You were too dark. Your nose was too big. Your lips were too big. You know? Everything. I remember people telling me, oh, you're too tall. You know? And I started doing this. And then when I took charm and poise, my teacher was like six feet. And she was like, nah, stand up straight. Be proud of who you are. Love yourself. This is why I said every morning when you wake up, hug yourself. Show yourself some love. Just hug yourself and just stay in the moment. Love the smile. Love everything about you, your chin your arms, your fingers, your legs. Appreciate who you are. Yes. In a time when I grew up in the 70s, dark-skinned women was not popular at all. We took the brunt of everything. In the commercials, we were not seen. In the movies, we were not seen, you know. People call us ugly. 
They say our nose were too big, our lips were too big, our cheekbones were too high, this, that. Everyone in society had a problem with us. But we paid too much attention to what society thought about us. It's time to celebrate and to love you and to embrace who you are. Look at this complexion. When I go out there, women from all over the world globally tell me how beautiful I am, how they love my salt and pepper hair. No wrinkles. Compliment my lips, my height, my long legs. So today I want you to do that exercise. Stand in the mirror. Look directly in that mirror and tell me what you see. And leave it in the comments. <laughs> I am curious to know what you think about yourself. Not what society thinks about you, but what you yourself all right until next time have a positive november and keep being positive in your life yes it's about time right okay take care have a wonderful wonderful day and thank you for your support i'd love to travel with wave keep liking and sharing these videos thank you bye bye